What's up, guys? You ready to enter the swamp? I'll let myself out if that's okay with you. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you what happened to this contestant after she left and the accusations she made against the show. Let's talk about it. Ah, darn. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this show called Fish Tank. Well, season two is well underway. Season one was a great success. I haven't seen all of it. I've only been able to pick up highlight clips, but you best believe I've been all over season two. And I'm here to talk to you guys today about the most manic, craziest contestant I think that the show has ever seen up to this date. And they've had some doozies, all right? Everybody from Airsoft, Fatty. Even the legendary Turkey Tom was floating around in season one. And as interesting as those characters are, they pale in comparison to the person I'm going to talk about today, and that is Summer. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Now, anybody who knows this show knows that this show is mentally abusive to you pretty much the whole entire time there. That is the way they weed out the weak. And when you take someone who is clearly manic and very fragile, then you're going to get some interesting content. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple times where Summer created some very interesting moments for the show and for all the contestants around her, but most importantly for you, the viewer. Take, for instance, the time where Summer was getting mentally abused by the TTS for her punishment when she was in the room staring into corner. Now, if you're not familiar with TTS, it means text-to-speech, which means if you have a certain amount of credits, you can type in a comment that will be played throughout the house, and it's basically a way for people to be able to troll the contestants throughout the whole experience. And after this one, it was really getting to Summer because they were trolling hard. They could smell blood in the water, and they were hungry. By the time she came out, she was still fighting with TTS, which led to some pretty interesting moments like these. And cried every day so far. Yeah. So what? I'm still here. What now? Does it look like a <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Summer's heat is now just a lukewarm <gasps> nod. As if the sun's on a lazy vacation and forgot to shine. I'm just about to burn brighter. Hey, Summer, show these trolls who's the boss and cry a little. Puke even, JJ. No. I'm strong, falls into a frothing fit. I'm pretty, pukes everywhere. I'm yeah. cute, does stupid coconut shit. Yeah, and I still believe it. So, that's how I feel about myself. And you can't change it. JJJ Summer everyone in chat and the forums is tired of your cringe self affirmations to the camera. What are you gonna do about Shut it? Shut up, JJJJJJ. Gonna hit me? Better make it count. Better one shot. Yeah, I'm like totally gonna show them who's boss. Yeah. I can do this like all day. Yeah, I can. I'm so much stronger and different. I am. Honestly, Summer, yeah. her tenacity and determination has won me over. You are so strong and brave. I know. I Just know kidding, shut the f up. Now you can see Summer starting to unravel. Do you think Summer might calm down and try to toughen up a little bit? Or do you think that she's just going to double down on the Manic? Well, if you pick Selection 2, then you are the winner. She decided to double down on the Manic and start going crazy on everybody around her in the house. I don't care if you me. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that's right. So if you're curious as to why she's talking about an infiltrator, that's because Jedediah Goldstriker told all the contestants ahead of time that one of the people there was not like the other and that he was an infiltrator and he knew what show he was on. See, Fish Tank was supposed to be a show about people who didn't know that they were on Fish Tank. After the popularity of season one, they didn't want to get people on there who knew about the show and knew what they were getting into. It kind of takes the fun out of it. However... In a weird twist of events, it turns out that everybody was the infiltrator and everybody was fans of Sam Hyde. So basically, Summer was on a mission to expose the infiltrator when there really isn't even one to begin with. Did you find the infiltrator? Yeah. It's everyone's, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah. David and Jim Gaia said... He's just sus to me. He's like... like he suddenly... He came last. He suddenly changed his personality. Like, at first, he was kind of... 
kind of calm. Like, I know he's like a Republican or something, but he wasn't as like racist and edgy. But over time, he started to try really hard to appeal to the TTS. So just to catch you up where we are right now, Summer thinks that Brian, who is this really tall guy, is the infiltrator. And that's going to lead to an interesting interaction between them in just a few moments. He started uh, copying what Jimmy was doing because he noticed that the chat likes Jimmy and he wants, uh, it's so obvious to me now, Brian wants the chat to like him and that's super important to him and that's his weakness and that's why I think he's the infiltrator. Yeah, he's totally the infiltrator in my opinion. I don't really care. Do you want to announce it to the camera? Or do we announce it to the camera? We literally just, I did. Yeah. I literally just did. That's what I think. What do you need? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Yeah, go and grab him. Let's start doing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Start doing what? Talk, talking about it. I am talking about it. To him. I fucking am. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. I am. Yeah. What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? It is him. I don't care. Sorry. You can agree or disagree. That's what I think. Okay. Yeah, no fucking question. Okay. Thank you. I like you and all, but shit. I'm gonna fucking keep it real. It's him. I don't care if you're or not. I don't care if I'm not supposed to say it or not. I just did. So I don't know if you've picked up on this or not, but Summer does not seem to care whether or not she has friends in the house. And, well, that could become a very isolating situation for you. So what does Summer do? Does she decide, you know, maybe I should calm down and try to explain myself to these people? Or should I just go absolutely berserk crazy and start attacking everybody? Well, again, if you picked answer number two, you are a genius. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, keep the knife away from her. Oh, Jesus. God. Jesus, Jesus. 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 Why is she yelling at you? Oh, man. That's like a Jesus real, Christ. that's a real BPD, um, whatever it's called. So it's time for Summer to confront her infiltrator, so she decides to have a talk with Brian, who is a giant guy, and, you know, well, it went exactly how you expect it. Hello. You okay? I'm fine. Sure? I'm All right. No, I, I want to make sure you're okay. Like, I you're, am you're okay. What's your issue? You're What's your fucking issue? What's my fucking issue? You like that? No one likes it when you're yelling in people's faces. I don't care you what can't you like. do that. I don't know what we're yelling about. You can't do that. Yes, all I can. I just did. Yeah, I right. just fucking did. You did. You're right. Okay, so what congratulations. Now? All right, so let's follow you. Let's go. Don't, don't, don't scream in my face. She's screaming at all of us. right back in my face. Yeah, because you're screaming at all of us. Loud noises. So not only is the chat after Summer, now the whole entire house dislikes her too. She has completely alienated herself from the rest of the group, except for Shinji, who is just really, just a really nice guy. You're like freaking the <laughs> f out on everyone. Like you're, you're pitting no, nine like, people against you. Like why are you nine people against it's you? It's not a strategy. This is how I genuinely feel. Okay, so like, even right, even if there is an infiltrator, oh God, and it's not even if there's an infiltrator, it's not a fucking mind game. Why is it this oh upsetting God, that like a reality God. show would like want to have a bunch oh of crazy God, shit dude, happening? Small dick, dude. What I want to know is how does Summer know the size of Brian's appendage? That is a question that we need to have answers to. Bro, I bet I got according to you because you're a whole burner. You're, you're, you're used to like 12 inch giant rockets. Any racist dudes who watch the show to like you—that's so embarrassing. It might just be me, but I feel like most of us have known someone like Summer in our life who just doubles down on just being the absolute worst person you could possibly be when you feel like you're being attacked by everybody. Instead of being like, "Hey guys, you know, I'm sorry. I should not have freaked out." She decides to be like, "Hey bro, you uh, you're not well endowed." I don't think that's a great strategy. Girl, you're <laughs> acting a mess. Right like now. you're you're embarrassing yourself. Like this is being That's recorded. Crazy to you. This is, what's crazy to me is like like who is sending you up to this? Show. Did you take your meds today? Like for fucking real? For fucking real? Did you? Like I'm saying I'm at. Did you? Okay. No shit. No fucking shit. You have to take them every day. No fucking shit. 
No one can hear me. 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 I am in a safe place. I am in a safe place. I am in a safe place. I am. I know what you're thinking. This is one crazy broad. And, uh, well, I would tend to agree with you, but it doesn't stop here. All right. There's so much more interesting things that have happened with Summer throughout this journey. Like the time that she decided to write a letter to producers asking them if they regret bringing her on the show. So what does Jebediah Goldstrike do? But he makes her read it out loud to the entire stream. So let that be a note to you guys. If you ever go on Fish Tank, do not write a letter to the producers or else they're going to make you read it to the whole entire stream. Ah, oh boy. You turn those lights on, actually. Okay. Uh, you can turn the, turn the lights off, but... Or... Turn the closet light on. There we go. Okay. okay. Come on over here. In the closet? Yeah. And just stand right here. Okay. And just face me. Okay. Um, What's up? How you doing? I'm okay. Could you actually stand deeper in the closet so yeah. the light sort of gets I, on your I face there? So you can see right away, Jebediah Goldstriker is not taking this very seriously. In fact, he's going to just try to make this a content moment for his show, which... Why not? You know, you know, it's all about trying to keep people entertained. And what better way to entertain than, you know, torture someone who's going through a manic episode? Yeah. Did you hear about the letter that I gave to Jet? Yeah, the letter that you gave to Jet. Is that? It's how this. Do you feel about that? Well, I didn't read it because oh, okay. it's. It looks. Uh, I don't read stuff that looks like this. I love that he says this summer. I do not read stuff that looks like this, which is basically just handwriting on paper. <laughs> it's such a stupid statement to make. It just really makes for a funny comment. Okay. Well, do you want to just read it? Out loud to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Probably louder because I don't think there's a microphone in the closet. She might have to but yell it kind of. I also love that he's making Summer sit in the closet with a light on and he tells her, there's no microphone in here, so make sure you really scream this letter, which is supposed to be this girl pouring out her heart to the production team. This is like absolutely chaos and it's great. Do you think that might spoil something? Well, don't read, uh,. This, the okay, point yeah, about okay. that, you don't have to read that. Okay. 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 Um, okay. I said, should I look at the camera when I'm talking? Or I Probably, know? yeah. Okay. You don't have That's the best way to get attention. That's right. Looking at a camera is the best way to get attention. Make sure you like and subscribe. You don't have to answer, but... Probably louder. Sorry. I feel like I might cry and my voice might shake, but I'm only okay. trying to project and be loud. Okay. Sorry, I hate that I cried. It's so cringe. Okay. Right. Um, you don't have to answer, but I thought I should write and give this to staff. So, now presenting questions for Vance or staff from Summer. In your opinion, if you have one. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Summer Lama Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Do you think it was irresponsible for me to apply as a contestant knowing now? The extent of my mental illness. By that I mean, if you as a casting director saw the extent of my habits, crying, panic attacks, etc., would you have not picked me for the show? You could tell 100% that Summer is desperately looking for any kind of positive reinforcement from Jedediah Goldstriker. And he has none to give, frankly. He, I feel like he just thinks this is a waste of time. But I think that he also, Sam High being the creative genius that he is, realizes that this is uh, content gold. I'm kind of asking, is it more than you guys bargained for, if that makes sense? Let me answer that one for you, Summer. I think that they hired you exactly for the reasons that you don't think that you should be on the show. Also, I would like to... Is that the end of the first question? Yeah, it's okay. so long. Oh my god, yeah. Do you need to... Are you okay to continue on the show? I absolutely am, but I'm worried that you guys don't do think you, I am. Do you need to go to a mental hospital? I really don't. Okay. Do you guys think that I do, though? I'm going to leave this answer to you guys in the comments. Do you think that Summer needs to go to a mental hospital? Personally, I think, uh, yeah. I think maybe it'd be nice for her to just get checked out and make sure everything's okay, all right? A lot of crazy people out there today. It wouldn't be a shock to me that one of them would find their way onto this show. Now, Sam Hyde has to be careful here because even though this is a show where he's supposed to just be trolling contestants, he is liable to if anything happens to the contestants within the house. So he does really need to make sure that she is okay and that 
she's not going to either cause harm to her or anyone else in the house because at the end of the day, he would actually be liable for that. And, you know, frankly, nobody's got time for that. We're trying to run a show here. I mean, I don't... Whatever. I'm not a medical professional. Do you need to go to a mental hospital or do you need to leave the show, though? No, not at all. Not Are you medical. sure? I'm absolutely positive, 100%. Okay. And I would do anything to prove it to you, dude. Like, I want to be on the show more than anything. Are you sure about that, Summer? Because it doesn't really seem like you want to be there. It seems like you hate everybody who's there, and it seems like you hate every comment that comes through TTS. I, as a uh, not medical professional, would suggest that maybe you don't want to be on this show. Okie dokie. Like, I would literally do anything. Like, I just want to be here. Now, this might just be me, but with Sam laying on that bed, I might be picking up a hint here that she's offering him a little, you know, uh offer to keep him on the show she's like i will do literally anything sir anything to stay on the show anything that's so dramatic <laughs> you're are you are you uh planning on harming yourself no i promise i would never harm myself on this show notice she says i will never harm myself on this show but off the show i mean that's a different story i, I can do whatever i want to myself and all seriously, no, do not harm yourself. It is not worth it, I promise you. And if you do, please seek counseling or some kind of help. There's help out there for people like you. Back to the show. Because I know it would get you guys in serious trouble, and I don't want people to see me harming myself ever. I've done right. it in the past, but I don't want to do that anymore. That's... I would never hurt myself on the show, okay. ever, ever, for any reason. I promise. All right. Well, if you I'm feel that if you feel that your health if you feel that your health is in uh, jeopardy, you need to go down to the basement and tell the staff that you need to go home. Okay. What's this moment of compassion in your trying times? It looks like Jebediah's got a heart after all, or does he? Okay, I promise I haven't ever felt like that yet. Though. All right. Well, whatever. What's the next thing you had there? Mm -hmm. This is your Christmas list for Santa Claus, right? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I was just. Fucking skits are writing. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, I would like to explain my strategy more to one of you because I don't know if it's too clear yet, and I don't want to confuse y'all. I think I have been confusing y'all so far. I don't know about you guys, but she's definitely been confusing me. Is she trying to say like this is all an act and that she's just not this insane all the time? Write down in the comments, do you think that Summer was acting this whole time, or do you really think that this is who she is as a person? I'd love to know. I need your validation right in the comments. I don't think one. they I don't think they care. Okay, can I read the next one? Sure. Also, have my habits gotten the show? I don't think you're confusing anybody though. Okay, I think really? they just yeah, they just go, oh she's crying. Yeah. Well, I mean with like Talk about mentally breaking someone down. I could not think of a more uninterested way of showing someone that you could care less about what they think than how Jebediah is acting towards her right now. My status as a contestant. Okay. Like, the strategy behind... Yeah, I mean, that's up to you, whatever. What's okay. the next thing? Keep it moving, girl. Time is money. Um, also, have my habits gotten the show in any hot water? Like, I don't want to give you a bad reputation if it looks really bad. Finally, I would like to tell you not to go soft on me, please. Just because my reactions are intense, please don't worry so much, because it's honestly normal for me to act this way. If you go too soft on me, the audience will notice, but that I mean, please don't be scared to go hard on me just because I'm emotionally unstable. She said, please don't go hard on me just because I'm mentally unstable. That's like saying, Listen, man, I can't walk, but, you know, that just shouldn't stop me from playing on the football team. People watching might say that you are coddling me, I mean. As a final note, I hope I haven't been worrying your staff or stressing them out too badly. I may just need a little bit of guidance when I get in that state of mind. Girl, if you're looking for guidance, Fish Tank is not the place for you. Maybe a sit-down or a cool-down if it gets to be to the level that it was today, because I wrote this yesterday. And I said, thank you for everything. I sincerely mean it when I tell you this was my biggest dream, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else as crazy as that sounds. Keep on keeping on, Summer. So her biggest dream is to be on Fish Tank. Talk about aiming low, folks. Now, don't get me wrong. Fish Tank is a fine show, but if your main goal in life is to end up on Fish Tank, I mean, maybe you should reprioritize some of your uh, aspirations. Okay. And that's, like, the entire thing. Okay. Thank you for listening. What? Thank you for listening. 
I swear, this was like the most desperate attempt to try to find some humanity within Sam Hyde that you could. This is not the place for it. He knows what show he's created, and this is not the place to have a wholesome, full house moment with Danny Tanner, all right? What's, is it going to be some soft music playing? Uh, Sam Hyde's going to come over, put his hand on her shoulder, and be like, listen, honey, that's just the way that life goes. And you know what? You got to stay strong. You know, when them times are getting tough, you got to keep rolling with the punches. You never know what's going to be around the next turn, but we always do what we can to try to survive. Get the hell out of here. This is fish tank, motherfucker. Now sit on that bed as I destroy your dresser. Take it like a man. All right. Um, so the, uh, info, the whole infiltrator thing, yeah. ignore that for a second. That's a separate thing okay. from what I'm about to talk about. There's now, in the house, an enemy spy. So Sam knows how obsessed she was with the infiltrator thing. He now tells her there's an enemy spy. Which, as far as I could tell, I never noticed anything after this being an enemy spy. So this was clearly an attempt just to get her to keep acting insane. Oh, Sam, I knew sly fox. Okay. The enemy spy. The first person to figure out who the enemy spy is is going to get a thousand bucks. You only get to guess one time. We're going to approach you later on for your guess. Do not talk to anybody okay. about the enemy spy. He clearly doesn't want Summer talking about the enemy spy because there is no enemy spy. This is just his way of getting her to go out there and act crazier. So after Summer's outburst, all right, there's a vote. So the way the fish tank works is the people who watch the show can control how the show works. So they end up putting Summer up for trial. One other question, though. I want to let you guys decide. You know, Summer over here... It's had quite a day. Uh, where should she sleep? Should we let her cool off downstairs or should she have to go to bedroom three with everybody else? Exposure therapy or a well needed break? Your decision. Which one won? Doghouse did. Oh my god. Can I go now? Yeah. Doghouse is typically a punishment, but I think tonight seems like a reward. Trolls doing what trolls do think that they're going to punish her by putting her in the doghouse, but much to everybody's surprise, or maybe not surprise, Summer is super excited to get into the doghouse. I guess maybe a little isolation might be good for her. So I guess after a few nights of sleeping in the doghouse, it was enough for Summer, and she decided, hey, my time has come, it is time for me to leave. Now, I don't think that Summer decided to leave on her own. I feel like a lot of the producers decided her mental state was so fragile that she actually posed a danger to the show, so they elected to have her go. And what can only be described as a strange goodbye. Summer, you're coming in here? Come on down and join me, girl. Come on over here. Now, now y'all, fish here in fish tank history, we've seen a lot of competitors. We've seen many people come and go. Some as strong as an ox. Some of them as dumb as a barrel of rocks. Some with a pussy where there should be a cock. We've seen quite a few many competitors. But we've never seen a competitor as strong and brave as Summer here. So after all this time, Summer finally gets some love from Jebediah Goldstriker. It only took her getting kicked off the show to get it. Someone as solid and steadfast and willing to fight. Who's got what it takes to make it all the way. Now, the only reason I think that uh, Jebediah is being so kind to her is because he doesn't want her going out and doing something that she might regret or might look bad on the show after she leaves. But we're going to get to that. That is a whole nother issue that's coming up. It almost seems like this story never ends. I've never seen nobody who had what it takes to make it all the way cold. I can't never seen no shit like this. Little Wolverine right here. But y'all, summer's going on to greener pastures. We're sending her on to a better reality show. Celebrity rehab. We're sending her up north to where the grass is green, man. 
where the grass roll, their hills roll for days, my Lord. Where the hills roll for days, green grass, warm sunshine, beautiful farmland. That's right, summer's going on to where the summer never ends. It don't never end where she's going. It's going to be beautiful, y'all. But that's why today we're saying goodbye to our dear friend, Summer. We're saying goodbye once and for all. We're giving our fish tank goodbye. Everybody, round of applause. <laughs> Big round of applause. Clap it up. Big hands. Big hands. Big hands. Ready, y'all. We're clapping. Come on. Come on. One more round of applause, y'all. Let's keep it going. Let's ride. Yeah. Everybody, come on in. Now, some of you go ahead and say your goodbyes to your friends, girl, and then you'll get your stuff and your belongings, and you come on down to the basement now. Now, of course, she's crying because it's summer, and summer cries at pretty much everything that she could possibly cry about. I think she was waiting for another applause here, so the fact that nobody applauds just makes this even more awkward. Summer, I'd like to apologize for yelling at you yesterday. She tells Brian that she was really scared of him, but she f keeps forgetting that she was the one who started screaming in his face to begin with. She's the one who escalated the situation. And because he retaliated, she was afraid of him. So at the end of the day, she's still not taking accountability for the way that she acted there. And honestly, I find that to be kind of disheartening. She tells everybody, yeah, she thinks everybody's really cool. The guy apologizes for getting mad at her. And then she says, well, no, that was your fault. You scared me. Well, you shouldn't have screamed in his face that he wouldn't have screamed back in your face. These aren't hard concepts to understand, but for for someone like Summer, who is absolutely mentally broken, it is everybody else who's the problem, and she's just misunderstood. It was really but it's okay because it's, it's just a TV show, I know, and cool. I'm gonna get treatment for my crying and stuff, and everything will be okay, I promise, guys. Uh, I, I didn't do anything about that. I was just like, I'm just trying to get it I'm not going to sit here and act like Summer is this horrible, horrible person. I think that she just got thrown in, into a situation that was just too much for her to handle. And it kind of mentally just broke her. So I don't know if she's actually a bad person. But reserve that judgment for a second because what we're going to go into after this goodbye might have you change your mind a bit. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. You too, So Summer leaves the house and you think that's where the story ends. Well, you would be wrong because a lot of things happened after she left the show. So let's get into that now. All right, so after the show, some more drama happened regarding Summer. A YouTuber by the name React Simply released a series of voice messages from Summer to Jet Neptune. Now, I can't confirm the authenticity of these voicemails, but I gotta say, it certainly sounds like Summer. And in these voicemails, a lot of interesting things were said. One being that there was inappropriate things that took place during the show that she regrets saying. And when I did a little research into Reddit, apparently her Tumblr had a bunch of weird stuff going and then some people said she was hacked and then some people said she wasn't. So it's kind of all over the place. But all I know is that in these voicemails, if this is Summer, it is her apologizing for the things she said, meaning that whatever she said wasn't true. And that it sounds like Summer is currently in a crisis unit, which is where I think she needs to be, to be honest. Now, these voicemails go on for 45 minutes. So I just want to show you guys some clips from there that I found to be interesting. And again, I just got to say, these are allegedly Summer calling Jet. I don't have proof of that. I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but it certainly sounds like her. And it sounds like she's in a crisis center. So it's up to you guys to decide how, how authentic you think these are. Hey, could you guys come pick me up? Um, 
I'm at hospital. Uh, I think in. Um, also, if you could call my brother and let him know that I'm okay now. Um, also, if you can make sure that nobody in the hospital gets hurt, I think you know why. Hey, Jet, it's Summer. Um, I owe you and Sam a huge, huge apology. Um, I'm still at the hospital if you guys want to come visit me, but I want to retract my statement. I think I was very, very confused. I found out I had COVID, which I didn't know. Um, basically, I changed my mind, and I'm so sorry that I accused you guys of doing something to me. So right there, you can see that somewhere, somehow, she accused them of doing something. I don't know exactly what, but I'm sure it's something that was meant to damage the show's reputation. Again, I don't have 100% proof that these are real voicemails, but I just wanted to bring this up because, one, it's part of her story, which I'm covering in this video. And two, if there are allegations out there, then these should be out so that people know that these allegations aren't accurate and that she must have just been angry for getting kicked off the show, which these voicemails seem to support that she was kicked off the show for her mental health. But let's hear some more. I was just so confused, but, you know, if you want to come visit me and talk more, you're more than welcome to. I'm still at hospital, but I just want to say I regret what I said, and I'm sorry, and I still love you guys. Um, this is Summer, by the way, Pelkey. Thank you. I'll be at the hospital if you want to see me or if you want to call me. I have your number now, so... Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm truly sorry. And I changed my mind and I want to take back that statement. I was very confused. So thank you for listening, Jet. And I still really love you. Uh, goodbye. Hey, thanks for not picking up. Uh, please don't pick up any of my calls, no matter what I say. She says, please don't answer my calls, no matter what they say, because she must be just absolutely filled with guilt and remorse for leaving the show. And if she did make those accusations, she feels bad, and she feels like she really just burned a bridge with anybody who she had relations with on that show. And I'm sure she's probably getting a ton of hate from anybody who's a big supporter of Fish Tank, which is a very popular show, by the way, in case you didn't know. But I can't help but feel for this girl. She has absolutely, completely lost her mind. Now, I'm somebody who has myself been in a crisis center due to times where I was suffering with drug abuse and stuff like that. And that is my way of relating to this. And yeah, uh, I don't know if I've ever been this desperate to get a hold of someone, but I have been heartbroken before. And I can feel like this girl is very heartbroken and she's trying to do whatever she can to try to fix the situation. And it's just ending up making it worse. I'm glad that she's where she needs to be. I don't know where she would be in a crisis center where she can have a phone where she can call someone this much. But apparently, I guess this crisis center has a phone that you can use. And she just keeps calling and calling and calling. And these go on for hours of her saying the same thing. I want back on the show. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to get back on the show. I just really, really, really want to be on the show. In a perfect world, if I could have whatever I wanted, I would come back as a freeloader. And I would prove that I'm okay to everybody again. I'll leave a link in the description for the rest of the voicemails. If you want to listen to the full 45-minute ramblings of this woman, then by all means, God bless you. But for me, I can't. I don't want to put 45 minutes of her just saying the same things over and over again. I think we touched on the most important parts of the voicemail. She lied about the allegations because she was in a different headspace and all that good stuff. Again, I just want to reiterate, I do not have 100% proof that this is Summer, but I have to say, it sounds exactly like her. It would make a lot of sense why she would do something like this. Imagine you got on the show that you've always dreamed of being on you were just such a huge fan of and then just because you went on there and act completely crazy and lost your mind and the show decided you were too much of a liability and they kicked you off you would certainly be filled with some sort of resentment or remorse so it makes sense to me that she would call begging to get back on as a freeloader or whatever it is that she wants to do to get back on this show. It would also make sense to me why these voicemails would be leaked if she was making allegations of inappropriate conduct. They would want this out there so they could see that their name's cleared and that this girl has just completely lost her mind. They always say, hell have no fury like a woman scorned, and it sounds like summer scorned. So if she can't be on the show, nobody could be on the show. So it would make sense to why she would come out and make some allegations like this. I want you guys to write down in the comments let me know do you think that these comments are from summer or do you think that someone had a really elaborate hoax that they put together i personally can't see how someone could fake it this well with that said guys 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that bell notification to let me know when I'm going to be posting my next video. And I will see you guys on the next one. All this talk of crazy reminded me of another video I did where a guy tried to scam a Corvette dealer and he ended up bad for him. So if you guys enjoyed all this craziness, check this video out right here and you'll see some more.